Puffins have to be one of the most photogenic birds in the UK. With their comical and clown-like appearance, they're beloved by many photographers. Hotspots include Shetland, the Farne Islands and Bempton Cliffs, but only one place in the UK currently offers a rather unique experience, snorkelling with puffins, and it was an opportunity I couldn't pass up on. I headed to Pembrokeshire to stay with artist and mate David Miller, a fellow fish botherer. We headed out in the morning to get to the seaside village of Dale, where we met with Celtic Deep. Headed up by Richard Rees, they're a wildlife tourism company specialising in seeing the wildlife of the Welsh coast, with trips for blue sharks, seals and today's quarry, puffins. The way to get these shots is rather novel, in which you take a fake puffin with you, but more on that later. With a small group of us, we loaded the boat up and headed out to sea, with the sheltered harbour being a breeze until we hit more open seas, things started to get a little bit more interesting. After a bit of a rocky ride, we got to our destination, which was the sheltered shores of Skoma. David came a bit more prepared than the rest of us, wearing a camo wetsuit and fancy headgear. The idea is to use a modified duck decoy as a fake puffin. This gets the normally wary puffins intrigued, and they come over to investigate, allowing you to get some really special and close encounters. Hopping into the water, it's best to head straight to the rocks, using them as cover and letting the birds approach you in their own time. It's tempting to go out and chase them, but this can stress them out, and it's best to let them come to you for better encounters. I set up and waited for the puffins to come in, and quickly I was joined by a bird, but not the one I was after. It was a guillemot. Often overlooked for its brighter cousin, these are beautiful birds in their own right. They dived down to have a closer look and tried to suss out what I was, which was an amazing experience. Waiting is crucial, as you need to be almost just below the water and only have the snorkel showing. If your head is too far out of the water, the puffins won't come close, so my advice is try maybe getting the right amount of weight before coming out, so then you're ready to go as soon as you get in the water. I added some ankle weights, which really helped, and shortly, the puffins started to come in. They're nervous at first, so it's best to move slowly and take your time when taking photos. Sometimes they dive down like the guillemots to get a closer look, swimming all around me. They're really graceful when using their wings to swim. At points, they'd get so close they were hitting my mask, which was an incredible experience. The puffins are around for the huge shoals of fish, which in turn, the puffins pull out into the water, creating an algal soup, which feeds the fish, creating a sort of symbiosis between them all in the summer. Seeing the puffins' legs go by like clockwork toys was amazing, and spending time with these iconic birds underwater was a real privilege and something I'd recommend to anyone wanting to see them up close and from a completely different point of view. If you'd like to book on with Celtic Deep, there's a link in the description, and I highly recommend them. Thanks for watching, you can check out some other videos in the links here. Also check out my website and social media, as well as the podcast that I host, The Bearded Tits Podcast. Cheers.